Hello everyone, welcome back to another part in the Remaking Door series. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, collapsible objects and set up the crouch uh, script that we made a few days ago in your doors game. So, this is a part of the Seek Chase, um, you know, little segment of the series. This isn't anything like, um, this isn't a part of anything yet, but what I'm talking about is like, when you're running through the seek chase scene, there's objects that fall over, tip over, that uh, you have to crouch and go underneath. There's all different types of rooms. You have to, you know, find the correct door and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, collapsible objects for the um, seek chase, which I will be going over in the next episode. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing is in the seek corridor, like in this seek corridor right here. I think we're, I think I'm thinking that we're just going to build off right here. And have the whole and just build the whole seek chase itself because generating it is too um too hard to do that but i guess we'll just uh build off of it in when we uh when we make the seek chase but anyway let's get back to collapsible objects so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up that crouch script that we had the other day so we're gonna go to toolbox my models and you're going to see my crouch script. If you haven't downloaded it already, it's in the description. Or if you want to go check out the video, that's a more, you know, in-depth um, instructions on how to set it up and how it works and stuff like that. But anyways, anyways, we will uh, insert it. We're going to throw it inside of starter UI. And we're going to make some changes to it. So we're going to go inside of the code. We're going to delete these walk speed uh, codes right here. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to starter player right here. And this will, we're gonna go down to camera mode. This will say classic for you. We're gonna click that and we're gonna click lock first person. So now if we hit play here, you can see we are in first person, but now we can also crouch. Just like that. So, but now let's actually make it so that an object tips over on these boxes that we need to um, crouch to get under to avoid you know seek so let's do that now so I don't have any models for this tutorial so I'm just gonna make one um, make one myself so it'll it, it won't be you know really very advanced or anything it'll just be a basic model I'm going to make it a model because I want to show you guys how to make it so you can make models you know fall and stuff i just need to hold on ah! <coughs> anyway so it'll be like this and then we could do something like um maybe like that yeah that'll work so what we're gonna do when you have your model let's say it's like a shelf or something you're gonna group it and you can name it whatever you want i'll just name this like pillar or something and what you're gonna do is first of all you're gonna need to make one of these your primary parts i suggest making like the thing that like holds everything so like this would be the primary part so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna name this primary we're gonna take we're gonna click on the pillar we're gonna go down a primary part set the primary part to that part and then what we're going to do next is we are going to, um, I think that should be good actually. Yeah. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to make another model and the pillar will be inside of it. We could just name this new model, like pillar tip over or something. I don't know. And what you're going to do, you're going to duplicate that pillar model and you're going to rotate it to where you want it to end up. Right? So I would test this out before you, you finalize it to make sure it's actually like possible to crouch under hold up so if we go like this uh is that possible to crouch under let's see let's see if that's possible to actually get underneath My thing is my computer is like lagging so wait okay we can't go underneath it just walking we crouch you can see we can now go underneath it all right so that's good that will be our um ending ending like 
ending part where we want it to tip over to so we're gonna have it like that what you could do you can take out the primary part that's all we need you could delete the rest so now we have that primary part we're gonna name it ending um, ending part and we can make it invisible make sure you scroll down and you disable all of this so no can collide no can query and no can touch and now let's get to actually coding it so what I'm thinking is we'll have like an activation part right here that makes it fall over so to do this we'll make a part we'll put it inside of this pillar tip over thing um, we can name it trigger and we will just make it the size of like the whole hallway like this you know what actually one other thing let's go ahead and maybe move these over more so we have like more room we'll move it down to like here or something there we go all right anyway so this is the trigger part we'll make it invisible make sure can collide is set to false but make sure you can set off that make sure can touch is set to true and we will start coding so we will insert a script into we'll script we'll insert a script instead of the trigger part and we're going to define something so first things we're going to define is the actual part so we'll say local trigger part equals script up parent then we'll say local pillar tip over actually no local model equals trigger part dot parent then we'll say local pillar equals model colon we for child pillar then we'll say then we'll get the ending part just like that so to do this to actually make it tween we're not going to use tween service um i originally thought we would use tween service but then i figured out how to actually do it so what we're instead going to use is something called lerping we're going to lerp it to the ending part so um <clears throat> we want it to let's say let's say we let's say we did it right so it would be something like this it would be pillar dot primary part um dot c frame equals pillar dot primary part dot c frame colon lerp then we would do the ending part oops, ending part dot c frame and then we would do like comma one right so if we ran if we played here and we oh, one other thing I forgot to do. Hold up. I forgot to make it when so one other thing, trigger part dot touch colon connect function like this. And we'll do h in there. Say if h dot parent colon find first child humanoid, then we will run this. Alright. So play here. So if we go up you could see um oh wait one other thing one other thing i forgot to mention in this um pillar make sure all of the like decoration so the primary part is going to be anchored every like piece of decoration so like this is a piece of decoration make sure they're unanchored and make sure they're welded to the primary part so to do this you're gonna click on the primary part then you're gonna hit control alt part on that uh, on the decoration that you want to weld to it you're gonna go to model create um, weld like that so we hit play here and we load up you could see that it goes to where it's supposed to but it just jumps right to that position and that doesn't look very good we want it to actually you know tip over so that they can actually see it tip over so to do this we're going to have to make a little loop so we'll say for i equals zero um comma one one meaning like the finished one is like finished 0.5 is halfway it, it basically was like that so if i if i made it like 0 0.5 instead of one it would go to like halfway where it's supposed to go if that makes sense so one is like the whole way 0.5 is halfway and then everything in between that is you know so 
then what we would do is we'd say the time that like how how much we want it to go so pretty much like how fast we want it to go so we're gonna say we'll just do like 0 0.1 or something and um we're gonna highlight this cut it Control x paste that there and then we'll just in like we'll add like a little weight right there so now if we go ahead and play here and I show you guys this, you could see when we touch, oh, wait, something did not work. Um, oh wait, I know what happened. All right, so this right here, one, instead of that being one, change it to I like that. Now hit play here. So now if we go up to this, you can see it like actually like tips over. But if you want it to be like, I don't know, you can mess around with it. So you could be like, if you wanted it to maybe faster, maybe like 0 0.05. Let's see how that looks. So we load in. That looks pretty good, I think. And then you'd have to crouch under it, under it, and then uh, yeah. One more time, I want to test it out. I want to make a, I want to make us faster, and then and like going through it. So also maybe you want, maybe you you would want that trigger part to be further back so that they can actually have time to you know recognize that the thing fell. But um, hold up. So we go up, it falls, we have to crouch under, and there you go. So, um, that's pretty much it for today's part. Wanted to make it quick and easy, and I know that we are, like, you know, about to start doing the sea chase, so I wanted to get this out of the way in case you wanted to add stuff that falls down, like, a, you know, like a shelf or something, because I know in the actual sea chase stuff, like, like that, that happens, maybe we'll add, like, guiding light or something that like lets you like lets you know like right here you have to crouch and go under it like let you know which door it is which door you need to go into the only thing that's going to be a problem that i think that i'm going to struggle with is like having seek actually chase you i'll have to figure out i'm going to do that probably like have like waypoint set or something something like that but um yeah that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please like subscribe comment all that good stuff comment you know what you want to see in the seek chase don't just say like seek chase give me actual specific stuff that you want to see um if you guys have any questions comments or concerns about today's tutorial or anything in general leave it in the comments below i have a discord server that i respond to way much more than comments dms all that join the discord server that's linked in the description if you want to reach out to me for scripting help building help whatever you need to development help so that'll be linked in the description it's also on my channel you know front page and yep, that's it for today's video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.